Black World, Black World, Black World TV. Welcome, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, to Black World TV. Your news, your views, our voices. Today's broadcast is about Botham John's brother, Brant John, who spoke at the sentencing phase of Amber Geiger's murder trial where she has been convicted of murder and was facing 5 to 99 years. She was found guilty and she has been given 10 years which she will serve as one person put it 4 years and some change but of course that could change there's a number of events that could take place that could alter that time frame. We pretty much know that she'll probably be, be in protective custody. That's probably without saying. But as someone else put it, they just might put a guard's uniform on her and have her patrol at the prison she's at. <laughs> I found that quite funny. But anyways, I that's not my idea that was definitely someone else's comment but I just wanted to include that in this video because I thought that was hella funny kudos to you who said that too by the way but anyways um talking about the brother Brant John this so-called black man who has black skin and as we know all skin folks ain't kin folks and another point I want to make about this so-called brother is that as Tariq Nasheed has eloquently stated so many various times about these quote immigrants who are not foundational black Americans they tend to act in certain ways that make the rest of us look bad I just really wanted to bring that out in my video because um, I think we tend to forget some of these points and I like to keep it 100 here at Black World TV and so here it is this so-called brother Brant Jean gets up on the stand and he seemed very very uncomfortable as he kept tugging at his shirt his collar he kept tugging at it um, several times while he was speaking almost like he was very uncomfortable or as if he was possibly under some pressure of some sort who knows but anyways what he displayed to most all of us foundational black Americans who have our eyes open is he displayed the Stockholm Syndrome a bad case of it here it is his brother Botham Jean was murdered by this ex-police officer Amber Geiger she mistakenly went to the wrong apartment entered the apartment and shot him cold dead the brother now October 2nd 2019 decides that he says he's not going to speak for the family that he was just speaking for himself which I thought that was a very good point to make that you were only speaking for yourself but I want to really reveal something else to my listeners and that is that don't I hope you're not surprised rather I hope you're not surprised that they would put him up there to speak in the first place why not his mother or maybe I just missed that because after all I was at work so I didn't get a chance to see all this as maybe some some of the rest of you but what I did see I was just getting off of work and a co-worker was looking at the video on her phone and I gasped and I had a loud outburst and I cursed right in front of her she looked at me kinda of odd and really fast because she was surprised at my response but I was furious I couldn't wait to get home to, to just get online and see what the hell 
happen here? Yes, most of us didn't see this coming. Not at all, not in a long shot. Yes, we were looking for the shenanigans, sure enough, but not this kind of butter biscuit eating. And again, like I said, he's not even a foundational black American, I don't think. As a matter of fact, I'm almost sure he's not. But his display in what he showed today was truly an embarrassment to people who share in the same skin complexion and we con who considers our consider ourselves black. It's a shame. And we see this over and over and over and over again, whether it's a black female or a black male. This behavior continues to happen. And you know what? For those of you who are watching this video and you're not subscribed to my channel or you haven't seen any of my other videos, namely the one on PTSS, post-traumatic slave syndrome, well, of course, this isn't making sense to you. But if you check out that video and listen to some of the talking points in it, you'll understand this behavior. It'll still piss you off, of course, because we keep seeing this. But I got to tell you what I observed from this so-called brother, Brant Jean. Again, not only the tugging at his collar cons constantly, but it was the tone in the way he was talking too. He sounded like very nervous. He sounded, uh, there's another word that I'm trying to say, but I can't put my finger on it, but he was very he was choosing his words very wisely on what he wanted to say but he seemed like he was white girl struck to me it was the way he kept referring to her and just talking about her and how he forgives her and and that you know um if i may ask can i can i get a hug and the way he hugged her and they embraced about five times that I counted one at least when I started counting at least five or six seven times they kept embracing I and each time it made me just sicker but this so-called brother is a disgrace in my opinion and again why didn't his mother speak up but like I stated this is something that we should have expected that they would put someone like him on the stand because they know how he talks. They know how he moves. Trust me. So while at times it seems like, well, we're getting a, a step or two ahead of the white supremacists, here it is in the background. They're playing these type of games. They knew what type of brother this was. I'm sure. But he got up there and played his little violin. And as he stated, he's only speaking for himself. I'm only speaking for myself. As he kept saying. And he got off the stand. And they allowed this Amber Geiger murderer to go over to him clearly uh, I wouldn't have felt safe <laughs> no keep her on that side of the room and no I don't forgive you either and as far as I'm concerned these 10 years is clearly a scratch of the surface actually you're insulting my intelligence white supremacists and white Americans who have allowed white supremacists to continue to terrorize foundational black Americans whose ancestors built this country for you to enjoy in all its riches and all its freedoms and all its liberties liberties that you deprive us of the builders let me just state to you that 
he is a product of your environment for sure I'm not surprised by his actions whatsoever and we gotta talk about this despicable judge the optics I, I, I need to shout out one of a few of my subscribers anyway who spoke out on one of my videos and they said that the judge was acting tough it was it was just for show and I agree on my video I agreed with that point at the same time I think that she was also showing something else when she stepped off and went down to hug Amber Geiger and I'm talking about this judge Tammy Kemp what a disgrace she should be disbarred by the way and I, and I have a hashtag by the way hashtag take her robe take her robe hashtag take her robe because it was despicable for her to get off the stand and go down and hug this murderer what a disgrace what a disgrace what a disgrace She should be disbarred. But I felt that the hug, the optics that she was showing was to appease those who were pulling her strings in the backgrounds. You know, the ones that you don't believe happens. Well, I, I do. And whoever it was and whichever group had their little words in her ear about she better do the right thing because <laughs> you know she is in Texas don't fool yourself on power and how it dictates but she seemed like this this optic what she was trying to show was that okay Massa I'll be good I'll I'll, I'll, I'll give her a hug it'll look good now the concern is is if this judge is going to pull any other foul and disgraceful shenanigans. That is the ultimate question and concern is if that would happen. Anything. You can't put anything past the status quo and how they like for things to turn out. For them. Look at their system already. It's so rotten. It's so rotten to the core. That's why it's crumbling. And that's why they don't understand. That all the things that are, that's happening. In society is karma like a mug. Karma like a mug. But it's. It's for you. I saw. Um, I saw a video. Someone posted. I didn't actually watch it yet anyways but it showed oh actually wait I have it right here it's called oh this one I think it's this was the one I think it's called 400 years awaken restore prepare um, the the thumbnail was showing ancient Egypt and their captivity of slaves so-called because I don't even believe that at all. I have to tell you that first and foremost. Because there's really no evidence of it. Other than the Europeans words telling you this. But anyways. um, It shows that. And then it shows America. And her 400 years of captivity of foundational black Americans. And it shows. And I think it showed like. You, the result of it I did again I I apologize because I didn't get a chance to see the video yet I am going to watch it but the message was quite clear to me but America is getting hers and Americans especially white Americans you're at the top of the list anyways this is black world TV I'm gonna end off here because um, I think the points that I wanted to talk about wait nope there was another point I wanted to talk about about Brant Jean and his give life to Christ comment. There's been a YouTube, a popular YouTuber, who she 
talks about Christianity and just how bad it is for foundational black Americans and for black people worldwide really um, this this religion called Christianity how it came way 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 after the fact of black people's existence but all of a sudden they bring it to you and you believe it wholeheartedly and I've seen and heard brothers on the internet fight tooth and nail about the Bible and how true it is and all this and that and anyone who speaks against it you're just the devil and you're evil and they say all these things and intelligently won't have a conversation with you without shouting or getting mad and or violent this is Christ Christians mind you they're such hypocrites the biggest hypocrites but th his give life to Christ statement like that is gonna change Amber Geiger are you kidding me he well one of the things is is I don't think he knew about Amber Geiger's um, text messages and her behavior and her family and friends and and just all the things in the background I don't think this brother really knew any of those things I think he was just looking at the surface that she was a ditzy cute little white girl with blonde hair in his eyes definitely not mine cuz uh, no no woman with some yellow hair is attractive to me I'm sorry and you definitely ain't the right complexion for me in for me <laughs> But anyways, um, he just seemed like he was white girl struck up on that stand. And when he stepped off and how they embraced so many times, just despicable. I'm just done with all of this. I tell you, I've seen some black people's comments. Even one, even a couple black folks talk about they wish they wasn't black. Now, that's taken a way, way too far. And you're getting way beside yourself at that. Why don't you just go kill yourself? Do us all a favor if you feel that way. But anyways, um, this situation is just so despicable. Just like all the other ones where they, they ask black people, you forgive them? You forgive them? It's just like back in the day when they, would, they were going around talking about, you believe in Jesus? You believe in Jesus? God, it's just despicable to me. All of it. It is. And last but not least, this whole forgiveness about this whole Christ thing, uh, 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 give life to Christ and forgiveness. And I've heard black people say, well, Christianity is my redemption. No, no, it's your death. It's your death. And you just don't know it. You're slow to getting it. So I don't even care if you're offended by what I'm saying. You're slow to getting the message. And that's what's keeping black people behind from progressing. Because you guys are too slow to get it. Anyways, this is Black World TV. I'm signing off. You're welcome to leave a comment in the comment section. Peace to you and yours. Assalamu alaikum.